everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Sly 3. In the previous episode, we took out Mugshot as Carmelita. And now in this episode, we are going to try and steal this thing from this guy. But we're not going to be successful. Oh, man. I was really hoping we could get it from him. Anyway, this episode, we're going to uh, go over here. I think this is the mission that's required us to get the hover pack. Uh, possibly, maybe? Oh, jeez, why does the flashlight guy have to always be watching this piggy? I thought this was going to be like a two-second thing. That's why I was like, oh, we'll start the episode with that, and it'll be fine. We'll be good. No, no, no. Anyway, let's get over here. Go, go, go. Windmill firewall? Oh, this guy had something to steal, too. Whoops. Oh, well. How do you plan to hack into the aircraft control tower? It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmill. Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. Oh, we're just... we can super high jump, right? Yeah, it's triple... triple jump? One, two, three... yeah, that's it. Three jumps. Okay, wait, where are we actually going? Oh, it is right here. This shouldn't be too bad then, right? We should be okay? Wow. Prepare yourself, computer! I will show no mercy! Oh, yeah! Let's go! Have we done this in this game yet? I can't remember if we have or not. Oh, wait, I have to go in here, obviously, though. Good thing I've got hacker code linked to the right analog stick. This data stream looks protected. Hmm, looks like I might need to transport the circular lockdown code. Wow, wait, have we done this in this game? I can't remember if we've done it in here yet. Some challenge. It, it's like different than it was. Uh, how am I supposed to get the? How am I supposed to rotate the ball to the other side of me? Oh, it goes to the opposite side wherever we're shooting. Okay. There we go. Wow, this is awesome! I love it so much. Beep 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 beep. Another falls before my digital kung fu. Hi ya. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, we get to do that three more times. Yes. Oh, I love these mini games. They're so good. I'm so glad they brought this one back. Oh, this guy has something to steal. Okay, we'll steal it on our way over there because we gotta get as much money as we can because I'm sure at some point we're gonna need to buy something else. We already had to do it once. I don't know how many worlds there's gonna be though. This time though, instead of there being like five, so like in the first game there was five bosses. The second game was the Furious Five, but it took place in like across eight worlds. This one we're trying to collect, like a, gather a team of people, and I'm assuming we're gathering together five people, so including Murray, so it'll be like Murray, Dimitri, Penelope, the Guru, that's four. Uh, I don't know who the next one is that we're missing there, but there might be one more there that we're missing. And then we probably have like the last world as well. Come, grasshopper. Kneel before the feet of the master. Looks like they're going to put up a little fight this time. Oh, that's not a wall. <laughs> I thought that was a wall. It's just like a protective barrier. Oh, this one's a, um, a lot trickier. Yeah. Oh, jeez. We're okay, though. This is like, oh my goodness, it's so good. They've added things and it's so nice. Hack around it? And it just pulls us into a place, so I think we're actually okay. Oh man, I can't get over it, I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's grab you. We're gonna go over here and go the opposite way. There we go. One into place. 
then we'll go grab the other pink one right here. Ah! There we go. Now we do the yellow side. And one more. Bada bing, bada boom. Another terminal terminated. Love it. Absolutely love it. Changing it up each and every time, but also keeping things like similar. It looks like it's got more contrast too. Like this entire game is more contrasty than the other games. Like it's very bright, which I really do like. It looks so pretty. All right, we have made it to the correct thing this time around. Uh, how are we gonna get up there though? Can I? I can't walk along that section like Sly can. Can I just jump up here? Can I actually make this jump? If I time it right? I don't think so. I feel like that's like impossible. Oh, there's cheese! Bouncy cheese! There we go. Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless. Sir? Oh, this one's like a tighter enclosed space, so it's gonna be a little trickier. Ah, uh, okay, we're actually okay. I don't think this. Oh, okay, this. Little... Oh, it does hurt you. Okay, I didn't think it did for a second. I'm like, okay, as long as we, uh, we can use it as like, I don't know, it's just like a distraction, more like annoying than anything. But if you actually do touch the middle, then you may actually do get hurt. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying actually a lot. Words, words, words. Okay, big open area. Orange. Oh, big turn. Oh, okay, wait. I remember this giant uh, thing. Maybe we have seen code in this game and I just don't remember it. Um, I don't remember. It's been a while. Anyway, let's get just get out of here. Go, go, go. Excellent. Now for the aircraft control tower. Once it's hacked, the system will be mine. Yeah, we might have actually done this already in the game. It's just I recorded it probably like two weeks ago or so, so yeah, probably not good. Oh, that's a topic I could have t spoken about all these times. This is a new year. This is the first time I'm recording in the new year. I haven't done like any recording. You'll have to use your auxiliary afterburner to get over to that computer. Jump as far as you can towards it, then goose the afterburner. Go easy on the throttle and you should get a few bursts. I made it slide. Look at me. Aha, my final opponent. Looks like they saved the big code for last. How that be? Ah, uh, yes. But yeah, anyway, we yeah, I haven't recorded anything this year. This is the first time we're recording in the new year. It's very exciting. Very, very exciting. I have been, uh, something I can say, though, that it's not, it's not recording related, but it's YouTube related, is I've been working on a little project on the side. Uh, it won't come out for a little while. But, uh, yeah, I've been working on a nice little fun project. Oh, we have to take out these things in order to get the spheres. That's a nice little change to getting them. Oh, and we died already because I'm bad. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, exciting, exciting future things in store, hopefully. I say it a lot because, like, some of the stuff hasn't actually, like, come to fruition. I've tried to uh, make some things happen. They just didn't work out in some cases, but other things have worked out, so who knows what's gonna, what the future holds. Success! I've got total access! Wait, the, the code's unstable! Everything's speeding up! Windmill throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. Thanks to our combined efforts, we are now ready for the final round of the Aces dog fighting competition. Put on your helmets, because it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. In just a few hours, Team Iceland and Team Belgium will begin fighting it out 
the B Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. Slide, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships. Land some tracking devices, then head back to the team hangar and suit up for the finals. Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunships for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to slide. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first. Oh, here we go. Oh, for Bentley? I thought we were Sly. Do we actually have a Bentley mission? I don't I don't think we do. I think we have just the Sly thing and then they're gonna switch around to all of them as we as we need them. Uh so yeah, anyway, yeah, New Year, so <laughs> this is gonna be coming out wait when uh, I don't know <laughs> way eh, actually no probably just next week because I'm really be uh, far behind on recording right now so this episode will probably come out yeah next week sometime but um, yeah it's still exciting stuff I'm I'm just uh, I'm excited for the future that's it that's all I wanted to say <laughs> I'm just saying it through like a weird mumble jumble of other words as well because I'm trying I don't know I don't really know what I'm trying to say. I think I need a, uh, a short break for uh, some lunch or something after this episode. Because I believe this is the fourth episode that we're recording uh, today. So yeah, I probably should probably take a break. Ah! Oh, can't wait. Hopefully you guys have some good plans and such for 2022. If you don't, and you're just like hoping that the pandemic ends soon, then hey, that's, that's good too. It's... I would love if, if the pandemic ended, but there's so many, like, stupid things that keep happening. I think currently, as of right now, uh, we've gone, like, back backwards. Like, very far backwards. We looked like we were making progress for a little bit. Now we're backwards in time, so things are getting a little hairy. Hey, at least I have uh, the YouTube stuff to keep me entertained, right? <laughs> And you guys have me, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I appreciate everyone that's st stuck through all these and is watching all of them and such as, as time's been going on. Because I know they're not always the most entertaining things in the world. Sometimes they can be, and I've recorded a few episodes and like edited them and such, and I'm like, oh, that's a really good episode. I'm really happy with how that one turned out. But then there's a lot that I've also recorded, and I'm like, oh, I didn't like this. But it's all like... It's all learning process pretty much for me. I'm learning a bunch of new things as we go along. Probably mentioned this also before, but it's true. Learning so many new things. And look at how flawlessly and easily I did that part. I, it took me so long the very first time we did that. Excellent! The Bee Champs dogfight is beginning! With these guys going at it, no one will notice as you slip onto the gunships and plant a tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem. Is it going to want me to use the, uh, my glider? Ah, uh, it does want me to use the paraglider. So good thing we purchased it before, or like a while back. Ah. Well, that wasn't actually too bad to get up here. Oh, jeez. What? <laughs> what the heck? Excellent. The first tracker's in place. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a pressure vent near the front of the aircraft. It might be just the thing to give you a lift. That's nice of them to be able to bounce us around more easily. Well done. Two down. It goes up so high. Holy moly. We gotta go so far. Uh, we already got this one, apparently. That's okay. Can I still land on it? Oh, no. 
You came too close to the ground, the tracker's broke. Uh. Oh, but this one keeps our progress so we don't have to go backwards. Nice, very nice. Thank you, game. Less editing's always nice. Okay, now we just jump onto this one. And we uh, we glide and hope that we can hit this this point over here. I don't know. This might be a little close. This is gonna be risky. It's gonna be risky. How are we supposed to get over here? I screwed up. Okay, we're gonna go for this one this time. There we go. This is the one. Maybe not. Oh my goodness. How the heck am I supposed to get up? What? Am I supposed to actually just be patient? Is that what this is coming down to? I'm just going way too fast. All right, after doing that boring thing called waiting, I have made it over here, which I think this should give us a good chance to get over to these ones. And look, they're both going straight past each other, which is also very nice. There we go. Great, just one more tracker and we're in business. I think we can make this one from that one. Possibly. Everyone, clench. Clench. <laughs> we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. All right, this is it. This time we're gonna do it. We jump, go on to this one. We bounce early. And we have a ton of time to glide onto this last one. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nice work, Flyboy. The gunship's GPS data is flowing in. Head back to the hangar and suit up. All right, Murray. The Black Baron's communication antenna is held up by three support beams. Hold them out of place, and the whole array will fall apart. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's rowing and breaking stuff. automatically connected to us I'm assuming if we tried to jump into this water now it would actually like really hurt us like we'd actually probably drown and such keep it up the falling planes are dangerous but they're perfect cover for this operation sorry what was that Bentley I can't hear you over the sound of falling planes <laughs> it's very loud and I feel like I need to shout for some reason should I actually go away from the mic when I show? Like, talk like this, and then I'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was yelling into the mic, so I'm sorry. I'm also going to turn this down a lot for you guys. Holy moly, it's really peaking, though. Okay, one more, one more. Go, 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 Murray. Go, go, go. This is a really strange mission. Very strange indeed. The Murray has broken you! Let that be a lesson to all their enemies. I will not be trifled with. This is it. I am the tiger, pal. Look for the black baron. Take him out and this competition is all over. And go easy on the throttle. It's been sticking lately. Quit worrying. I'll see you in the winner's circle. That was amazing. I did not know you could go that high pitch. Uh, oh, is this the Baron? I didn't even know this was the Baron I was shooting at. I just was picking a random plane and started shooting at them. Oh, jeez. You need to get a little bit more ammo? That's going to make things easier. So I just look for the black plane with the little uh, light on the top of them, and then we'll be like, okay, that's him. Oh, and it blinks when you're really far away. So he really stands out, right? That This is him, right? It is. Look at that. So we 
just have to take him out. Not too bad of a boss fight. There's probably going to be a new phase, though, soon. Crap! That coon is good. Gunships, converge on my position and destroy the Cooper aircraft. Send in a spare plane as well. Roger, Baron. All units en route. Sorry, Baron, but you'll have to fight fair this year. What? Who is this? How did you find this frequency? What? No? Huh? This is... Oh, I command it! Oh, this plane's come unfixed. High time for an upgrade, I say. Oh, no, you don't, you weasel. Weasel? Am I? I beat you. Your biplane is in pieces. <laughs> We're both still airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then, let's settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years at Fisticuffs. Feudalism is my passion. If you fight as well as you fly, this shouldn't take long. On guard! Ah, yes, phase two. I knew it was gonna come. I knew it was gonna happen. His, uh, his voice is pretty funny, too. I really like it. I think I mentioned that part before, definitely, but... <laughs> Yosemite Sam? Is that that's who this guy's like? Yeah. <laughs> Not really, but he's uh, he's kind of got the. <laughs> it's probably the mustache, you know. It probably adds some, some something to it. Okay, same as before. Two hits back away. Two hits back away. Two hits. One hit. Two hits back away. Two hit. No, two. Two hit. And he's just dangling. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful attack. We haven't tried that one yet, but that was level two, I think. I think that was level two when I pressed triangle, 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 triangle. Yeah, there we go. That looked really cool. Victory, I have won again. I really like those cutscenes when they show off, like what happens if they were to win. All right, we made it to phase two again. We're not gonna try anything fancy. We're just gonna smack them whenever we can, and uh, we should be good to go. I think we just gotta take out these guys, like a certain number of. Oh, um, oh my goodness! Oh, thank you for the HP. Thank you for the HP. I appreciate the HP. Trying to do fancy stuff again, even though I said I wasn't going to do fancy stuff, and that's what's getting me killed. Oh, now we can try the little push attack too, because we haven't done that yet. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we haven't done these little pushing things before. That's new. Cool. We got all these upgrades, and we're only just trying them now on like what episode, like around 14 maybe. <laughs> oh man, good job. Good job, me. All right, phase two, here we go. Ow, he just walked up to me and hit. Wait for him to do his big fist punch. What's this, new move, new move? He's taking out the plane. He's committed. Wait for him to commit to another punch and then, s oh, we can hit him a few times. Oh, geez. All right, phase two with full HP. Let's try this again. He has a little jumpy move, but I don't know what, it, what his little thing is. Oh, it's that? Okay. He just puts both fists into the air and he jumps into the air to give you enough time to know, hey, this is your time to jump into the sky and get away from him. There we go. Then we wait for him to do his little single fist punch and then wait a second and smack him a little bit more. All right. One more phase after this. We almost got it. Now, if we hit these piggies off, they usually like to give us HP. If we hit them off the plane. Which is very nice of them. You wanna just get off the get off the plane, sir? Thank you. There's some HP. You can go to another HP upgrade or power up. Oh, do we have to keep fighting the piggies while we're fighting him? Oh, he dropped the HP for us. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little trickier because there's two. 
two things. Okay, now we can grab his HP at least and not waste it. We gotta worry about the piggy and him. Yosemite Sam and the piggy. Yosemite Blackbeard Sam? Yosemite Flying Sam? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, just the Baron. Baron Praxis. We can make references to other games that we played, right? Uh, a fatal blow! <coughs> That's enough. You win, Cooper. Wait, you? You're Penelope, the Baron's mechanic. No. No, you are the Black Baron. Suppose someone was bound to find out sooner or later. Guess I'm kind of relieved. But why? Look, let's talk on the ground where it's safe. It wasn't Baron Praxis or Yosemite Sam. It was quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit exaggerated that night Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dog fighting league strict age requirements however after winning the Baron became a celebrity and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often but now with the black Baron out of the picture she was free to take up a new path and she joined the gang without hesitation the next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. She was fitting in just fine. Gang's all here. Oh, man. The uh, Cold Alliance will be the start of the next episode, I guess. So I want to thank everyone for watching this episode of Sly 3, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends.